loves welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a lot different than my other videos because it's a hair tutorial i got a lot of requests for hair tutorials um based off of i guess my like my new year's eve uh video and my valentine's day video so i thought that i would go ahead and do it because it is something that i thought would be useful for you guys um especially if some of you guys are going natural or have been natural i've been natural for five years now if you want to see how i got this voluminous natural i don't know what else to call it look please keep watching okay so basically i've already done all of my hair except for this one section pretty much first i'm just going to take out this section of hair i'm sorry in advance if this looks crazy okay so i broke it into four sections washed it in each section i detang pre-detangled it and braided it no matter if i do a two strand twist a braid or three strand twist out whatever it is i do follow these same exact steps most of the products that i'm using are products that i made okay so here's what you're gonna need a brush small rubber bands and a jumbo hair clip. So I am gonna use one store-bought item. This is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Extra Moisture Detangler, and it does just what it says. It detangles my hair and moisturizes it at the same time. The first product that I made, I'm calling my moisturizing hair cream. It has coconut oil, shea butter, almond oil, castor oil, and lavender oil for scent. I will link my favorite store-bought alternative down below in the description box. And for the second one, you can use a spray bottle with just water in it, but I'm calling this my refreshing scalp and hair mist. It has water, coconut oil, almond oil, and peppermint oil. If you do wanna see how I made my own hair, like hair oil, sort of like styling oil whatever you want to call it um, if you want to see how I make it I can definitely do that too just let me know down below now I'm separating a section of hair that I'm going to work with if you want a tighter curl use a smaller section and then I'm going to clip away the hair that I'm not using now I'm taking my refreshing scalp and hair mist and spraying it on my scalp and throughout my hair and now I'm just going to take my brush to the tangle Now I'm taking that Shea Moisture Extra Moisture Detangler and putting that all over my hair and then I'm gonna follow up with my moisturizing hair cream and put that all over my hair as well. My hair tends to be really dry so moisture is key for anything that I use in my hair. And now I'm just brushing through my hair to make sure that everything's smooth and there's no knots but to also evenly distribute all of that product we just put in our hair. So now, literally just broke the one section into two, and I'm just twisting it around. Once this twist is complete, I'm going to seal it off with a rubber band and repeat all of these steps until there are no more sections left.
phase one complete. I will see you guys tomorrow with the results. Hey loves, okay, so it's about six o'clock um, the next day, um, which means it's pretty much been 24 hours actually. Yeah, it's actually been 24 hours um, since I did the twist. I'm gonna take these down now. So a quick little tip to taking out these twists, let it unravel itself pretty much. Don't fight against it. Just let it naturally unravel and you'll have less frizz and a nicer finish. Okay loves, I'm about to finish this up and then change clothes because I was heading to an event this day and then I'll be back with the official results. Okay guys, so I um, changed my clothes like I said I was going to do um, and so yeah, that's um, this is it. I'm going to turn around so you can see the back though. Make sure you fluff out the back because if you had it um, in like four sections like I did, I said not to like part it because it just makes it easier to fluff it back out so it looks more natural. Like I was saying, um, uh, you could kind of see where I had like the sections sectioned off in the back. So just take a, you could take a pick. So you could take like a comb like this or like a pick and like, just like kind of zhuzh it. Or you can zhuzh it with your hands. And um, fluff it so that it doesn't look as noticeable. But I did want it to be a part here though but just not that far in the back. Look, I hope this tutorial was very easy to follow. I know it was kind of all over the place because I had to do it in like two days um, span so you could actually see what it's like to twist it, go to sleep, wake up the next day, take it out type thing. So yeah, if you have any other makeup requests, like I said, I can do a tutorial on this makeup and the other makeup look that you saw from yesterday, which is gonna be in the same video, but you get what I'm saying. If you want tutorials on either of these looks or both, I can definitely do that for you guys. So just let me know um, down below in the comments. And yeah, comment, like, subscribe. You know the drill. Everything I use is cruelty free, of course. I can't stress that enough. I That's what I do. Cruelty free everything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.